Welcome back to Poinsy Welds. Today, Genesis and I are gonna teach you guys how to run the 7018 electrode. We're gonna run it on the flat position. If you haven't already, hit the like, smash that subscribe. Welcome to the family. So wait till the end to see the final results. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you. Angle bar, tack together, makes an X. We're gonna go ahead and practice the flat. It's a good way to practice as a beginner welder to get your technique going. So what's gonna happen next is we're gonna, we're gonna tack the Xbox to our workpiece. She's gonna brace herself. And all you wanna do is, once you strike your arc, have a nice straight drag. Always remember, support yourself somewhere, whether it's with your hand, with your hip, with your foot, even like with your elbow. Just keep in mind that this does disappear and it melts into the uh, workpiece as you drag. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind. What I want you to pay attention to here is the angle that I have with my electrode. It is not perpendicular straight up. It is not all the way to the side. It is, you can call it a 45 you'd like. Uh, no more than one eighth of an inch from my workpiece to my electrode. Anything other than that, I consider long arcing. All I'm doing here is a straight drag. I'm watching my puddle. I hope you guys enjoy the up close view. This is a, once again, 70, 18 electrode on the flat position. We're simulating a groove. What we're gonna do is one weld. Then we're gonna do one weld, two weld. Then we're gonna do one weld, two weld, three weld. And we're gonna stack them. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so forth. You don't have to do it in this order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you can do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you don't want to end with the last weld in the center or mix match. You don't want that. All right, I'm going to run one bead, two bead. One bead, the second and the third bead. Once again, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to keep that rod angle consistent all the way through. Try your best. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes there's things, obstacles in the way and you have to move and shift around the angle, but try your best to keep it the same distance from the workpiece the whole time, the same angle, the same speed. Pay attention to your puddle. All right, let's go ahead and always clean your work pieces. Get into a good habit of always working and cleaning your work pieces. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I think we're gonna run it on, on, the, on that side now. Don't get discouraged. We still have more time and we're able to fix it as we go. One of the goals, as you can see in the diaphragm that I'm uh, drawing out with my soapstone is that you have to eat half of the previous weld that you just welded. 
that's what stacking beats is all about you eat half of the previous beat and make an, a new existing beat and the next beat is going to eat half of that beat and the next one's going to eat half of that one and so forth also don't forget the angle of your electrode the distance from your workpiece where you're pointing it your uh, your speed breathe relax pay attention to all these things keep it all in mind Hey guys, as you can see, the second bead I welded kind of came out a little cricket or whatnot. But good thing that's where we practice and it's okay to make mistakes. Keep pushing through. As you saw, I'm gonna just keep going. The next one we're doing is four, five, and six. Burning rods is gonna be your best friend. Learn to like it in different positions, in every position, different rods, different heat different speeds that way you could see what it is you like what you prefer and you're gonna be a much better welder for it keep practicing always make sure you keep a good habit of always cleaning your weld chip away the slag wire wheel it or wire brush it look at that nice steady drag that electrode same angle most of the way i try to keep my distance same most of the way um, keep practicing practice 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 going from left to right from right to left up and down down and up you know try even doing shapes what kind of things have you guys tried when welding drop a comment in the description below Don't forget to hit the like, smash the subscribe. You guys, this is in the flat position. It's considered 1G. We're simulating a groove joint or a groove weld. Remember, adjust your settings. Look at your charts. Uh, pay attention to how thick your material is, the diameter of your electrode, what type of electrode, what positions it could be used. Do you guys know what 7018 stands for? 70 stands for 70,000 pounds of resistance per square inch of weld. The one stands for the welding positions that the rod could be welded on. One means all four positions. The number eight just simply means the type of flux that the electrode has in it. Don't forget to basically fall in love with practicing any position you think you're uncomfortable with or you don't think you're going to be able to get. Practice that position until you drill it into your mind. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You have to adjust your body. Your body language and your body movement will adjust to it. It's going to become normal. Just like when you were a baby, you learned to walk. You fell so many times. Eventually, you learn how to walk. Eventually, you're going to learn how to shift and maneuver your body, how to breathe. How to keep a concentration on that angle of the electrode, of the puddle size, of the distance from your workpiece. And, you know, you're going to learn how to stack beads. Always eat half your previous bead. Make a habit of cleaning your welds after every time you finish welding.
That's, that's kind of what you want. That's kind of what it starts looking like. We're about to do number 10. If you haven't already hit the like smash and subscribe leave a comment on the description box below tell me what you like what you didn't like what you want me to do next so that was 10 passes on a simulated groove weld that's what it looks like from the from the side so it looks this was our goal one, two, three, four passes at the end. It's 10 passes complete. Don't forget to follow if you like this welding stuff. Ooh, that's nice.